Hey, Soul Gardeners, it's Julie Zipper. Do you suck at meditation? Well, give me 40 days and we can transform that. For more details, go to 40daymeditation.com. Hello, Aries. Welcome now to Thursday. Partly sunny and financially sensitive today for the Rams. The moon is well into Taurus, so your emotional focus and reflection is on your financial status. This is what we call your soul capital. This is your self-confidence, your spiritual energy. Be conscious of it and what you do with it. Invest it in yourself first. I don't think that's really a problem with Aries. They know to invest themselves first most of the time, except in marriages where they put themselves second. But this is a time really to invest in, try to go to the dark side of the moon when it comes to where you are. Remember, we can manifest anything in our plan, on, on this planet, except speaking clearly uh, if we try. Zip it in the sun. We're in chapter three of Sun and Capricorn. Here's the kitsch. Mercury is ruling the day, but Mercury is offline. What does that mean? Well, Mercury is now zero degrees Capricorn. Zero means zero. So we're in a pensive state, but yet not a pensive state. I think this is the perfect state, frankly, to realize a paradox or to come to some sort of clarity. Remember yesterday I said it was breakdown, breakthrough. If you haven't had your breakthrough understanding when it comes to career legacy, you will likely have it today. But because of Mercury's strange status, where it is offline, I think our thoughts are in a different space than they normally are. It's kind of an honorary one-day Mercury retrograde. I would not make any important announcements today, but I think you may come to some real interesting clarity by looking at your career legacy from a different perspective. Now, this is a great day to get information, to seek out information from others, all right? Now, they may be feeling just as funky as you, not want to give it, but this is certainly a day to uh, expand your potential, to research, to get information, and to uh, find what you need to know, get information. How many times can I say that when it comes to career and legacy? We are laying that foundation now for 2011. And Venus, I want to remind you, is in Sagittarius which means this is an excellent time for you to create travel plans, for you to create educational plans, for you to create new beliefs. You are building and creating new beliefs with Venus in Sagittarius. And like I said, this is a great time to go ahead and create uh, your plans for any kind of collective conscious expansion. Also an excellent time for Aries who are teachers to teach. Great time to create a new curriculum, for instance. All right? You're very fertile with putting the pieces together in your philosophy. So you're going to be learning a lot right now with Venus in Sagittarius. And it is Thursday. We've got Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Emerald Therapist. Today she's going to talk about Violet, the popper, the, the popularity and power of Violet. I don't know why. I think it had purple on the brain there. That's where I was like, Violet purple. Anyways, Violet is a powerful plant and she is here to talk about it today. She's live everywhere. Our garden is streaming. Okay, Ram, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, it's Friday. And until then, live, love, be. So